Damiano's mate. Now, the mate has a slightly higher order of pattern recognition. In that, it it's going to happen with the castle king. It's going to happen because there's a bishop or a pawn which is controlling these two squares and you basically leverage by bringing in the queen and completing the checkmate. This is, as I said, a higher order of pattern recognition. Okay, it's, and it's one of the oldest checkmate out there. But, it, but as you can see, the complexity of the patterns is increasing as we go along. So the checkmate here is rather easy, not so hard. Checkmate and you're done. But can you do it for two and three? Okay, how do you do it here? The first step is to identify the pattern. As I said, just like the pawn in the last one, there's the bishop which is controlling the two squares. What you want to do is to bring the queen here. However, who's blocking it? The knight. How do you get rid of it? You gotta force, you gotta do it. You gotta force him to do that. How do you do that? And that's the whole crux of this puzzle. If you can figure it out, great. If not, maybe you can pause and actually try doing it, my friend. The answer is this. Rook moves here, sacrifices himself so that you can do the Damiano's checkmate. Checkmate number three. This is actually one of the classiest, you know, puzzle slash studies that's out there. Uh, incidentally, this was a game in 1993, as mentioned below here, and it's an amazing checkmate. See if you can do it. It's checkmate in five using Damianos. Please pause, try it out. Come back and leave a comment saying whether you were able to do it without help. I would like to know that, my friend. All right, the pattern is that there is a pawn, a beautiful pawn that's controlling two squares. You want the queen to come here. But where is your queen? Far, far away from that. So what do you do? Sacrifices. That's the tactical ingenuity of playing and becoming a good chess player. Rook check, force, king takes it, rook check, king goes back, again sacrifice the second rook. Imagine, two sacrifices, isn't it amazing? A check, king there, and many of my students just bring the queen and do the same sacrifice, not a good idea. That would be bad, but if you figure out the pattern of Damianos, then there, my friend, you have a checkmate. Were you able to do this? Please let me know in the comments section, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.